Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you guys are looking for the best and most honest how to's and reviews, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, I wanna talk a little bit about our sponsor. So this video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. And if you guys don't know, know may is a month to raise awareness for mental health fight the stigma and provide support for anyone struggling with their mental health so this year's theme is together for mental health where we're sharing personal stories in hopes to encourage people to prioritize their mental health and i know for me this last year has seriously been a whirlwind from leaving my corporate job to pursue entrepreneurship to getting engaged, planning an entire wedding, and getting married in the span of nine months. I mean, it has been a lot. This last year has been so much, and seriously, therapy has been a game changer for me. Another big theme for Mental Health Month is advocating for access to mental health care. So this has long been one of BetterHelp's goals. I will say that BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and you can sign up for financial aid during the sign up process, and they also accept HSA benefits. And there is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, and it gives you access to help that you may not be able to get in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with a the therapist in under 48 hours. I know for me, it took less than 24 hours for them to match me to a therapist. And then after you match, you can then schedule your secure video and phone session. Plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. They offer customized online therapy that includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you really don't want to. I know that for me, I find it so helpful that I can message my therapist, Lorena, whenever I need to between sessions, if I'm like going through something and we can just talk through things and I can get advice or just get her help in general. And it takes so much stress and pressure off of me. Also, you can request a new therapist at any time with no additional cost. This mental health month, if you or someone you know is struggling, please share BetterHelp with them. You can get 10% off your first month with my link, betterhelp.com slash Christina Arnelia. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Christina Arnelia. I'm very excited to share this video with you guys because we are testing out the new Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. It's called powder, but also a bomb. It's a bomb powder. It's actually a cream consistency. I was super confused when I first heard about it, but I was also super intrigued by it. So I decided to pick it up and I'm gonna show you guys my full first impressions, a demo, and I'm also going to be showing you guys a full wear test. So if you're interested in seeing all of that, then just keep on watching. It's so cute. I love this packaging. So the other week when I was browsing Sephora, I did see that Danessa Myricks came out with this new foundation balm. It's from the Yummy Skin line. I never tried the serum foundation. I want to. I want to try it. I just haven't because I just have so many other foundations. But there was something about this that really really intrigued me. I got the shade number four. It's a medium with neutral undertones, which sounded perfect for me. Hopefully it's not too light. So what this is, is a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining your hydration that last little bit really got me i was like how is it going to balance my oils but keep me hydrated the in between there my brain can't comprehend but i am so willing to see how this works it says that this groundbreaking balm to powder formula is powered by swedish super ingredient called upsalite upsalite or upsalite. I've never heard of it before. Um, this is the packaging right here. I love that it has this little spatula thing. I was like, is this a powder when I was when I first saw it? But it is a creamy balm. So it's right here. It says it has a petal-like texture that feels like a balm, but it sets like a powder for a long-lasting shine-free look. Basically, what upsalite, if I'm saying that right, is. It balances and absorbs excess sebum and sweat while maintaining skin's hydration. 
That sounds perfect for the summertime. If you're gonna be outdoors, if you're gonna be on vacation, you need your makeup to really last. If you're going out at night, whatever the case may be. I mean, I'm really hoping this works. It also has olive derived squalene, which is known to balance oil production and hyaluronic acid. So there are several ways that they say that you can use it. They say that you can use it to prime the face, you can highlight and contour, you can use it as a foundation, but you can also use it as a setting product, which I'm not sure how that's gonna work since it's a bomb. You can add sheer coverage. Oh, okay, so if you add it to existing foundation, you press and roll it. So I'm assuming with a little puff or something. Does this come with a puff? No, it does not. So this is just the product itself. And also it has a note here that says, as you wear it throughout the day, this unique formula adjusts its oil absorption to address your skin's specific needs. That sounds so cool. I think that this might be a really good shade match, which I'm really excited about. I hope that I did well. There are 10 shades, by the way, and this retails for $36 on Sephora's website. I think it's online only currently, and it's also on Danessa Myrick's website. Oh my gosh, my nails are so thin. I had to take my nails off for a client shoot, and I took them off myself. I did the whole like drilling and all that stuff, and my nails, I wanna get them done again. <laughs> So I did moisturize and I have sunscreen on. That's why I'm looking super glowy and dewy. I'm not going to wear any primer with this because since I feel like since it says you can use it as a primer, it's also going to act like its own primer, even if I use it alone. So I'm just going to use it alone. I'm going to use a brush and then use a sponge like I normally do on either side of the face. Now I do have these brushes right here that I'm going to be using. These are from BK Beauty. They sent these over. They actually sent the whole collection of brushes to me and I was so excited. And these are so soft and the handles are just really pretty. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use this 101 brush here from BK Beauty. And what I'm going to do first, let me push my hair back so it's not in the way. All right, so I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the product here. Ooh, she's balmy. Oh man, I wanted to take a picture of this before I started swatching it. Oh well, <laughs> I always forget to do that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the right side of my face here. Ooh, she is creamy, okay. Yeah, it feels very creamy upon contact. And I'm going to blend it with my finger first and then I'll go in with my brush. So it's very creamy, almost moussey. Like if it were a little bit more liquid textured, it would feel like a mousse. And now I'm gonna take this 101 brush and I'm going to buff this into the skin. It's already looking really nice. I think this is a great shade match. Wow, that blended so nicely into the skin. I can't even really see it. I do have a lot of like little breakouts going on right now. I've been using admittedly too many new skincare products at the same time. So I think my skin is like, what you doing girl? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, this is one very thin layer. I definitely can go in with more right here. I don't think that was enough. So let me put a little bit more on. I just went ahead and dipped my whole brush in there. I wanted to see if it would pick anything up and it did. You can see it right in the middle right there. So I'm just gonna apply that right here. And I'm not putting any right underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with concealer there. Wow, this is like really blending out. I think I need more. It doesn't feel heavy. I can't even really feel it. That's why I'm like, am I putting enough, you know? Right when it hits the skin though, it does get really, really emollient, which is nice. It almost feels like a liquid on the skin. Wow, that blends in so seamlessly. Okay, a little light for my forehead, but that's normal. My forehead's a lot darker than the rest of my face. Ooh, it covered the redness under my nose really well. So this side, I have the Blurring Balm foundation on, and then this side I have nothing on, just my skincare. So right off the bat, my skin is looking really soft and smooth with this. It blended really nicely. I was a little worried about the balm 
portion of it like I was scared it was going to be too moussey and then just sit on the face but right when it touches your skin it becomes very emollient very liquidy and it blends just like a liquid foundation in my opinion I would say it felt more like a liquid than a powder going on so personally I like that I love a good liquid foundation I don't have as much success with powder foundations just alone I'm feeling like this is a, like a medium coverage right now with the amount that I put on. So let's put some on this side with a sponge. It doesn't really say on the website suggested ways to apply it. They just say what you can use it for. So I just want to test out and see what works best. And I'm just going to pat this in. Oh, you know what? That actually looks really, really good with a sponge. It doesn't seem like it's taking too much product off of the face. It looks like it's blending into the face really nicely. Usually my problem with foundations that aren't full coverage is that they just sheer out way too easily. But this actually blended really nice. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. That looks great applied with a sponge. I'm just going to make sure that all the edges are blended nice. Love this shade match. I might have to get a darker one though. We're going on a cruise for our honeymoon. So I think I'm gonna get fairly tan. So I might need a darker shade of this. But wow. Ooh, the skin looks good, y'all. The skin's looking good. Okay. All right, so this is one layer on here. Again, I don't have any concealer on underneath my eyes. I just put concealer there and no foundation. But this is what the skin is looking like. It looks so hydrated. I'm so curious to see how this prevents excess oil and keeps the skin hydrated because I can definitely see it keeping my skin hydrated. But it's so moisturized and hydrated now that I'm curious to see if it's gonna dry down at all. I'm just gonna use the tip of my sponge to go in to see if I can get even more coverage. I feel like it did so well around the redness um, with my nose because I have a lot of redness and some bumpies right there right now. So I wanna see if we can achieve more. So I just went straight into the compact with my sponge and it's actually like not absorbing, which is great. Doesn't look cakey, looks very hydrated. It also doesn't look cakey on my nose. Foundations can tend to like get really spotty on my nose. We'll see what it looks like when I set it with powder though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, do my concealer, do my eyes and everything and set this down with powder. And then I will be back to show you guys what the final face is looking like. Talk a little bit about my first impressions and then we'll move on to the wear test. All right guys, I'm back. I finished my full face and this is what everything is looking like. So I've had it on for about an hour now, I will admit, because I filmed another video which will be coming out after this one. And I gotta say, I gotta say. Okay, I have thoughts, I have thoughts. That's, that's what I have to say. <laughs> So I set my face with powder. I used my Tati Beauty sponge with my Laura Mercier setting powder that I always use. And it is looking flawless. My face looks really good. So it still looks very natural. Like my forehead here, you can see that it's still looking, it's still giving like hydration, you know, but the rest of my face is looking nice. And I would say giving me like a natural matte. So I used powder blush. I used this new Bare Minerals bronzer in Kiss of Copper. And then I use the Makeup by Mario contour stick. And that's what I have on my cheeks. Everything is sitting really nicely. Nothing is looking splotchy. Nothing is sitting funny on the skin. I kind of have like a little bit of a splotch here, but I think that was from, so I applied lashes and I was like touching my face. So I think that was my bad. So let me reapply that. Oh, that's a lot. Ooh. I think I, well, a little too much there. That's a lot of blush. <laughs> We're going to ignore that. None of it is like creasing or falling into like my lines around my nose it's looking very very good my forehead looks good i mean i have like little bumps and stuff like i mentioned but nothing is being accentuated nothing is looking drying this was so nice to apply to the face it felt really nice and hydrating but it wasn't like greasy it didn't feel greasy the way that 
some creams can almost feel you know what i mean first impression it's looking really good my skin looks healthy but it also looks radiant but it also looks very very put together i can see this working for a lot of different skin types if you have oily skin and you set it down with powder but you still get that really nice natural matte finish and if you're drier i can see this working for you without even setting it maybe just like under the eyes and then you're good to go and it gives you this like natural finish again i would say this is about a medium coverage let's see if it says anything on the website oh it says it gives light coverage i feel like this is a medium unless i've gotten really really used to just sheer to light coverage because i don't wear a lot of like full coverage foundations anymore unless i'm just used to that and think this is a medium <laughs> but for me this feels like it's a medium coverage so I'm gonna wear this throughout the rest of the day. It is about 1.50 in the afternoon. And again, I apply this probably around like 12.45, 12.30. So we're one hour in. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys in a little bit and show you how like all of this is wearing. Alrighty guys, it has been six hours now. It's about 6.45 in the evening. And I just wanted to do my first check in here. And this is the skin okay i'll give you a little bit of a close-up here so you can see right now so i do have a little blotchiness going on here but honestly i think that might be my bronzer and blush combo i did end up putting a little bit more bronzer on after i put the foundation and set it and everything and honestly the foundation itself wasn't blotchy when i first applied it so i feel like it's the actual bronzer but aside from that this is my face, this is my skin, this is what's going on right now. I am very pleased. As you can see, there is oil production. There's like some oils going on here, a little bit in my T-zone. Nothing too intense, nothing too serious. For six hours, this looks like a regular foundation after maybe four or five hours of wear on me this is looking real good like even the shine that's coming through in person it is looking very natural it's not overpowering whatsoever and the foundation has held its integrity there's no spotting it still looks really good around my nose here i do see it creasing in there just a little bit but literally the smallest amount and if i just like tap at it i feel like it would go away i'm looking more oily on camera than I do in person, in my opinion. So that's kind of what's going on there. So just take that with a grain of salt. I think it's looking really nice. If you tend to have combo skin like I do right now, this is a good foundation, I think. It looks flawless still. Like it still looks like I freshly applied it within the last like hour or so. So in a couple more hours, I'm gonna go ahead and check in with you guys and probably end the video there and give you my final thoughts. But so far, first check-in, it's looking amazing. All right, guys, I am back for my very last check-in of the day. It is 11.30, which means we have hit hour 11 of wearing this bomb foundation. Right off the bat, you can see that I have produced more oils. How However, for almost 12 hours of wear, this is doing so well. I am not looking cakey. I'm not looking dry. Really the only spot that I'm seeing that looks fairly dry right now and like a little creasy is under my eyes, which if you guys remember earlier in the video, I mentioned I wasn't going to put any foundation under my eyes. So it's really just the concealer. The only areas that you can really see that there's a lot of wear is right around my nose. It's definitely started to kind of like build in that area but it's not the worst i've seen foundations build there i do have a little bit of splotchiness right here but after dinner we ended up watching a movie and i was like laying on the couch and just like putting my hand on my face like this so this foundation does not claim to be transfer proof so i wasn't like looking really for that definitely have a little bit of shine a little bit of oil like right in this area and again it looks worse on camera than it does in person i think it's because of the studio lights right now but i could live with this like i could really go out and 
look like this i mean maybe i would powder right on top of my cheeks but i wouldn't even powder my forehead it's not looking that intensely oily right now i did notice that i am getting a little pimple right here under my nose but i felt that like last night i felt it under the skin so i don't think it has anything to do with this foundation i am planning to wear this bomb foundation again tomorrow and i'm gonna do my full face and probably use a sponge because i really like the way that it applied that way and i'll put in the description description box down below for you guys how it wears tomorrow as well so you can kind of get a better feel for it and kind of a better understanding of it but overall first impressions first time wearing it I really really liked it there is something about this foundation the way that it immediately just melted into the skin and really made my face look very put together and very natural at the same time was really incredible to me i think that it usually takes me at least like an hour or two to really warm up to a foundation it's not very often that a foundation like blows me out of the water right off the bat this definitely did that i feel like the foundation shade match was really nice i felt like the way that it blended you know its blendability was really nice I like the finish of it and I'm really impressed with how it handled my oils throughout the day. I love the fact that it's multi-purpose, that you can use it as a primer, a highlight, a contour, a foundation, a setting like coverage type of product. I really like that it's marketed in so many different ways. I really like the idea of using this as a primer for a different foundation. So I think I'm gonna try that out and see how that works for me. Um, I will try to keep you guys updated if if I don't update you here in this video then I always talk about beauty stuff on my Instagram so check that out for sure and yeah definitely recommend it really like it again right now it's only available online but I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes more readily available in stores in the upcoming weeks all right guys that is everything for this video let me know if you're picking up this bomb foundation or if you've picked up the serum foundation please let me know your thoughts because now I am super intrigued and I really want to try it maybe the two mixed together might be like a bomb combination so we'll see how that goes but let me know your thoughts on it if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments down below and if you guys enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video bye